Here in the drawing is Theo. He is eight years old. Theo believes his dad is the best in the world because he knows the answers to all his questions. Today, his teacher, Mrs. Salabair, asked him to learn about Picasso and make a drawing like him. Theo does not know Picasso, but he loves Pikachu. The next morning at breakfast, Theo asked his dad who was Picasso. His dad thought this was fortunate because he works on a project for a large museum. He looked very smug. Theo thought his father looked like the peacock at the zoo when he opens his fan, but he still did not have the answer to his question. That's when his dad started to tell him the story about his project. One day, a man, who was the head of the Pompidou Museum, decided that all of the works in the museum should be made accessible to everyone via the internet. This represents thousands and thousands of paintings, sculptures, photographs, videos, texts and more. So the lady responsible for communications for the museum contacted CGI, where Dad works. Theo has created paintings on the PC, but also has drawn his dad on his mother's tablet. Then his dad continued the story. My job is not really working on computers. It is mainly to listen and talk to my clients, which includes everyone working in the museum, and of course all my colleagues. In fact, our clients request help to complete the project, and we are the guide and give them advice about innovative solutions. Only at the end do we start doing the work on the computer. We proposed to create a platform that connects all the pieces together. It means that when you see a piece of artwork, we suggest another work that has something in common with that piece, and then offer you something else to see, as if the visitor is walking around and drawing his own path, and everyone can help to make this an even richer space. Theo asked his father why he told him about all of this. Because today, Theo, everyone is affected by the digital revolution. His father then went on to www.centerpompadou.fr. He typed in Picasso, so Theo could make his drawing for school. The virtual Pompidou Center was opened on the 5th of October 2012. Today, it makes more than 100,000 cultural assets available and accessible to everyone. Theo thought his dad worked on a computer, but in fact his father partners with his clients to achieve digital transformation. And that will impress his friends and his teacher.